Hello class! Welcome back to our continued discussion about generating functions. Uh, on a personal note to start, uh, it just so happens that as I'm recording this I'm starting to get a bunch of emails from you with your first homework assignment and I just wanted to say it's been very nice to hear from you all again and I miss getting to do these lectures in person and interact and talk with you. So if anything's going on and you want to talk about it, please by all means feel free to email me. I am happy to talk about things. Okay, but that out of the way, uh, I want to start showing how all of this connects sort of naturally with combinatorics. So I'm going to consider uh, the question of how many ways there are to throw these three dice uh, and get some particular sum. So here I just happen to have gotten 12, so that's good enough. So here's the question I want to ask. Okay, and by the way, I picked different color dice specifically so that these are definitely distinct, so that the green die being a 6 and the red die being a 4 is different from the green die being a 4 and the red die being a 6. Okay, now... You might be inclined, uh, and you, you would not be wrong to be so, uh, to think of this as a kids and candy problem. But I want to show you a different way uh, to think about this. Okay. And I will note that you, you'll run into some issues if you try and make this a, a straightforward kids and candy problem. Uh, because you need to make sure that, like, none of the dice get more than six. Uh, but here's how I want to think about this. I want to think of these dice as being each connected with this particular polynomial. Okay, that is my die polynomial. I'm going to call it d of x. Okay. Uh, and note the coefficients here, or sorry, the powers of x correspond exactly to the faces. So there's a 1, a 2, a 3, a 4, a 5, and a 6 on each die. You'll just have to believe me that that's true. Uh, and so these things correspond to those faces. And what I want to do is I want to think about what happens when I take this polynomial and I actually multiply it by itself and then multiply it by itself again. Okay, so I'm going to think of the first one here as corresponding to the green die, the second one here as corresponding to the blue die, and the third one as corresponding to the red die. Okay. Uh, and so I'm thinking here of our role as really corresponding to this x to the sixth, this x squared, and this x to the fourth. Uh, and now what I want to note for you is that if you were to multiply out this horrendous polynomial, in fact, these three would correspond exactly to an x to the twelfth, right? Because I would add the six, the two, and the four. Here's the key. In this question, exactly what we want to do is we want to add the sum, or we want to add the faces on the dice. And conveniently, the way we do that is by having those things written in powers of x, so that when we multiply the powers of x, we end up adding the faces of the dice. Okay. Uh, now think of your other favorite way uh, to get the have these three dice total to twelve, 
And so you could, for example, have a three on the first die, a three on the last die, and a six on the middle die, and that would correspond to this term, this term, and this term. Uh, and if I multiply those three terms together, that would also get me an x to the 12. In fact, what I'm sort of getting at here is that when I multiply out this enormous polynomial, I actually get an x to the 12th for each way of getting a sum of 12 out of these dice. Okay. One for each. Okay, so I have gone ahead and for your convenience, I've multiplied these all out in Wolfram Alpha, which gave me this. Okay. So here is sort of an ugly polynomial at the top of your screen. Uh, but in particular, this ugly polynomial at the top of your screen has lots of terms. Uh, but if you look at the x to the 12th term, you'll see that its coefficient is 25. Uh, and so the answer to this question is that, in fact, there are 25 ways to do this. Okay. So if you can multiply out this polynomial, then you'll go ahead and get the answer here. Okay, so make sure you're happy with this, uh, and make sure you also understand that, for example, if we wanted to know how many ways there were to throw these three dice and get a total of eight, that that would be 21, which you would get by reading off the coefficient of x to the eighth. And you can look at things like, oh, well, there's only one way to get a sum of 18. And of course, that's correct. The only way to get a sum of 18 uh, is to have all three of these be 6. Uh, and so you can see there's a 1 and from the x to the 18th. Uh, you can go ahead and verify for yourself that, in fact, there's three ways to get 4. Uh, the only ways to get 4 would be a 2 and two ones, and there are three of those based on which of the die it is that's the 2. Uh, so again, you can see that all lined up in this gigantic polynomial uh, that, well, I'm not going to say it was super easy to calculate, but it was easy for us because we sort of dumped it into a computer and had the computer do it. Okay, I want to think about some related questions and how we could use similar tools to answer more complicated or slightly different questions. So next time, we're going to be sort of taking this idea uh, of using sort of a generating function made out of multiplying polynomials together, uh, and we're going to uh, think about ways to make change. Okay. So we'll do that next time, uh, but until then, be well.